with so many commercials. All right, 40, 59. Got to make it tap to add mode here, guys. 40, 49, 40, 59. Doing a little driving for dollars today. We go out and get some deals. I'm up here in Florissant. And I've already done a bunch in the last couple days. So I'm going to try to color the map in between here and there, guys. Here and there. I'm out here looking for deals. Looking for houses like this right in front of me. Something that uh, has a lot of work that's needed. Lots of bushes, old houses with old windows, paint chipping, gutters that are clagged or missing. And as you guys can see in my split screen here, I'm using Deal Machine. I love using Deal Machine. They make it easy. I'm personally not really interested in uh, in trying to, to get to these sellers in real time. I feel that it's a great tool. However, when I'm out driving for dollars, I like to kind of prioritize driving for dollars. There's one right there, 39.40. And uh, just try to get a bunch of properties added, right? And then later I can go back skip trace them in bulk hit them with some mail call them text them a couple houses here that could use a little work but they don't look terrible 3875 could use a little work some of these are just kind of a little dated but that's good though so this area that i'm driving in today guys this is uh a great area here in st louis that uh city I live in here it's it's in the North County area oh, that's a real good one right there what is that 3800 let's hit that one and uh, but these make for really really good rental properties you can get 1% rule on these properties here in st. Louis in this area uh, pretty easily meaning you can get 1% of the purchase price in monthly rent which again, makes for really, really good rental properties. All right, let's see here. Let's make a left and circle back into that neighborhood. As you can see on the right side, this is just me on my phone. So I got them linked together where it's a little split screen. So it's kind of neat. Oh, that's a good one there. And then I want to just go back into this neighborhood. So my goal here is to just plot a lot of properties that need work. They would hopefully um, appreciate a call from me or my team. Maybe they're motivated to sell and they need money quickly. And that's kind of where we come in. Now we wholesale a lot of properties, but me personally, I'm kind of out today looking for, for rental property leads. But the great thing about a lead is you can do a lot of things with it once you get it. The hardest part is getting the lead, guys. 23.55 is a good one there. So, you know, the thing about these, about wholesaling real estate or buying and selling real estate, making money, flipping it, getting rentals. I should just talk to those people right now. But again, I like to bulk my work here. I like to bulk it up. 24, 25, and then just do all that in the office. It's very difficult to try to do phone calling, driving for dollars, checking your email. It's just too much. Just do one thing at a time. It's more, it's safer that way too, guys. But uh, today I'm out looking for properties that I can buy and add to the rental portfolio. But if I get a good deal on a lead and it doesn't make for a good rental, I can always rehab it. I can always wholesale it to another landlord or another rehabber. So when it comes to flipping houses, it doesn't necessarily take money. You can do that with little to no money, guys. I do it all the time. I've done it probably around 500 times in terms of wholesaling. But what a lot of people don't tell you, 
most of the gurus out there is that you got to spend quite a bit of time and or money generating the leads. The leads don't come easy and oftentimes they're expensive or time consuming, but that's what I'm doing now. I'm going out and I'm generating my own list, getting my car real muddy in the process here. And I use this list to then market to these individual property owners. And hopefully I can find one that's motivated and we can make a win-win. This one's got, mm, man, some of these are iffy. Oh, look at this one, guys. Look what I just came across. This one's boarded up. Looks like it's got fire damage. It's a good one right here. So that's something three, just number three. So that's a great one right there. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to find those. I'm also looking to just find properties that don't have any updates at all. And usually that's a sign. If the property is overgrown, got a tarp on the roof, I've like broken down cars in the driveways. It's always a good sign. Like that. But again, we market to these people. We let them know that, hey, we're looking to buy properties. Are you, do you have any interest in selling? And if you do, that's great. We'd love to come out and talk with you about the property, make you an offer on it. What do you guys think of this one right here? With all these bushes in the front yard. Can't even see this property. It's a good one there too. You know, they may not be motivated to sell, but if I were to guess, somebody that has a lot of bushes in their yard overgrowing the entire house probably is going to be a little more motivated than the one that looks like it's got fresh landscaping. Just my two cents here, guys. But anyway, if you guys are liking driving for dollars, I love it. I do it two or three times a week for at least an hour or two. Go check out Deal Machine. This one looks good, 38.55. Use code Dave to get a free trial as well as $15 in deal credits. And the deal credits are cool because you can use those to skip trace properties in real time, get phone numbers and emails, as well as use it to send mail. It's a good one there. So send yourself some mail, test it out, see how it works. Skip trace yourself, skip trace your neighbor. Skip trace your buddy. We're already back to this one. So that's another cool thing about this map is it plots where you go, which I love. So you're not hitting the same street multiple times. And then you zoom out here, you can see it color coordinates time frames. So like if we zoom into, for example, where I live, where am I? Down here, you can see the different colors from when I've hit certain areas. It's really, really cool, really intuitive. I really, really like this app. It's one of my favorites. And it's it's for the cost compared to a lot of the competitive the competitor apps. It's uh, it's got some of the best value from what I've found. All right, let's try to find some deals. Looks like so far I got 16 properties. Add it to the list, 16, 37, 95. I kind of like that one. And then I like this little feature you can track yourself on the map. This makes it so easy, guys. It really makes it safer to be using your phone while you're driving, let alone me trying to use a computer, a camera, a phone. Don't do like I do. This is a good one right here. Look at the windows, the screens, the bushes. Gutters got stuff hanging out of them. Like that one. And this is really just a numbers game, what we're doing today here. Driving for dollars the way I do it. So I'm just looking for as many houses as I can add to my list. Like that one there. That look like they could use a little bit of work. And here's another thing, you know, even if I do this whole driving for dollars today and I don't get a deal. What I am going to get is people to add to my follow-up funnel. And just because I may not get a deal today, 
Lady's out in the yard doing some work. I like to see that. Keeping up the neighborhood. Even if I don't get a deal today from these driving for dollars efforts, I'm going to add a couple properties to my follow-up funnel. And when they want to sell in a few months or even a few years, I like 14 too, then um, I'm going to be following up and I'm going to automate a lot of that follow-up or have my virtual assistants help with that or my team even. Hell, I do a lot of my own follow-ups. I don't mind it at all. I like talking to people. But then when they're ready to sell down the road, hopefully they can call us and we can make them an offer. If they don't like that offer, then maybe we can offer to help them in another way. By listing their property or something else creative. Again, we make money when we solve problems. So oftentimes our cash offer may not solve the problem but there's other solutions out there. But the root of this, guys, all of wholesaling and investing starts with a deal. And that's what a lot of people, I think, get hung up on is they don't, they don't realize that. And they want to get into this business and they want to start flipping properties and they want to start doing deals. Where do I got to go next here? Well, one thing I really like about driving for dollars is... Um, the, the lists are very unique. These lists are unique. So other investors aren't going to have this particular list. Unless they're watching this video and they're taking notes. Then they may have this list. And I go pretty fast, so I'm going to make that really hard for you. But get the app. Use it out. Check it out. You guys can get a free trial of it, too. And if anything, take the free trial and use those credits to send yourself some mail or do some skip traces. Just so you can experience it. And if you like it, stick with it. If you don't, then don't. But I think it's for the for the money. I think it's probably one of the best values there is in my toolkit. Meaning in my all of my tools, all the softwares, all the things I do, I think that this probably has the highest return on my investment. So I'm a huge I'm a huge fan. Can't tell here. So, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and show you guys what I've done in the neighborhood so far. Looks like i got a couple more streets to hit. That's cool. That one's got some peeling paint, but it's really well manicured. So, typically whenever they're well manicured, the owner cares about the property. But uh, it's pretty simple, guys. This, uh, this game is pretty simple. Man, I got a couple down here that I can just see from a distance. It needs some work, it looks like here. Yeah, this one here could use some work. 2365. Man, and this one here. Three in a row. These are all great rental properties, guys. The cost of these homes is relatively cheap for the square footage. And the, uh, the, the area that I'm in up here is it's a good area. I mean, this is a good safe area. The schools are decent. So they make for a really good house. See, I'm adding quite a bit. 4075 to. All right, we're gonna make a left here. We're gonna try to get back in this neighborhood up here. It's like a lot of little good streets. And eventually we're gonna connect all this that we had done last week all in between let's do it let's add some leads it looks like i've already added 31 leads which is good i've only been doing this for 20 minutes or so again i usually like to get out for uh -oh. should have made a left there but that's all right we can go up to this main street i usually go for an hour or two at a time I try to go two to three times a week sometimes it's more sometimes it's less let's get off this main road i like less traffic as well it's easier and safer and again here we're just looking for looking for some properties that could use some work it's all look pretty good right here at least they're taking care of them a little driving for dollars today little D4D using my deal machine app all right looks like I got a couple up here I could maybe 
Mm -hmm. Actually, these all look pretty good. All look pretty good right here. All right, let's head over this way. I'm just gonna paint the map today, guys. Painting the map. couple really good ones added to the list and a bunch of other ones we're at 35 for the drive I usually shoot for between two and three hundred it's another good one right here it's missing some looks like they added siding they painted half of it there's a window that's missing right there that's gonna be a good one looks like they're distressed in some way roof's got a lot of mold on it Lost my damn premium connectivity in my Tesla. My card number changed. I gotta get that back. I gotta get that back. All these look pretty good. There's really no signs of distress on any of them. This one, maybe. It's kind of gonna run down a little bit, but uh, everything else on that street's been pretty good. Let's circle back. Man, I can't stand commercials. All right, let's find those diamonds in the rough. Mm -mm -mm. All right, 705. Probably had that one. It's nothing crazy, but looks like it could use some work for sure. I get a good workout on my neck whenever I'm driving for dollars looking back and forth. All right, covering some of the map here, guys. It's, it's a good thing and a bad thing when you go out and you get a lot of leads or very little leads um, doing this driving for dollars. It kind of depends on where you're at. But sometimes you can go, you go crazy and add tons of them. Other times you may be in an area that there's not very many properties that are distressed. But the good thing is, is when you're in those areas, those property values are typically worth more. They sell faster typically too. Not always, but street here. Now I own properties in the area here, guys. This is another reason why I am focused in my efforts in this area today. Again, these really make for good rentals. This is literally one of my favorite ways to get leads. $35.95. Yep. Man, that one's got all kinds of shit growing around it. Let's find those deals. Looking for rental properties I can buy, guys. But I can also take these deals and these, these leads that I'm getting, if they're deals, and I can turn them into wholesales if I don't want to keep them. Keep the best and sell the rest. That's the model. But you got to get the lead. The lead is the hardest part. You can flip houses with none of your own money. We all know that. But we should at least. I've done it about 500 times. Flipping houses with uh, none of my own money. But what people don't tell you oftentimes is that you got to get the lead. The lead costs money. Flipping the house is easy. It doesn't require any money, but getting the lead, finding the deal, that's another story altogether. If you don't have a strategy to find leads, man, you're going to be in trouble. I don't really know how I can help you. You got to get out and you got to find those leads. You got to buy them and start marketing to them, or you got to get your own, which is what I'm doing today. And I do both, guys. I buy them. And I do a lot of driving for dollars as well. Driving for dollars seems to be the best method for me. 